Anyways, uh, going on, uh, part two for this video blog. Um, I think it's just that a lot of measurements get a little bit crazy all the time, you know. And sometimes even, even with or without Zola for Paxel, you know, they're still crazy. Still like doing like I'm doing things that that defy logic and like uh, like how most people would have certain dreams or or like a couple of dreams where I had going to the airport but it was way worth uh, you know how like the whole baggage carousels work where where the baggage would be dropped dropped onto the carousel. One of the dreams where I was going was working the other way around, and uh, like in a spoke of the wheel or something like that. And then, and uh, one of the most craziest dreams. <laughs> I still I still crack up every time when I have this when I mention this dream. It was one of those uh, dreams where I think I was gonna go to the airport for some reason. And I think I have like an em, you know how like they have these envelopes that keep uh, that hold like your bo boarding passes. The envelope was for one airline, and then all the boarding passes were all from different airlines. And I think my mind was making up, making up what they what they look like as uh, compared to like. The airlines that, that I usually fly with, you know, Americans, you know, but. And, and it was also the fact that I also like to watch uh, Amazing Race. And so I was, like, used to seeing all these little, uh, all the, all the contestants on there, uh, racing around, and then you see all the whole, the whole boarding pass on all these different airlines from, like, American, United, Alitalia and Aeromexico, Air France, and blah 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 blah. blah. And having all these different uh, boarding passes and stuff, you know. But I never really had a, uh, I never really had a international flight before, you know. So, so technically, like going up to Canada didn't really count, you know, except we were just drove up to Canada, but, although maybe like someday, you know, I probably could, could do some sort of venture on my own, you know, with, without mom and dad's help or anything like that, you know, and I think I was doing pretty good as far as, uh, as far as like doing all those, uh, doing my civic duty and stuff like that. Without, without my mom, mom and dad's help, because always I had to have mom and, and dad, mom or dad take me to whatever the polling place was, like over at the clubhouse all along here. And, uh, and then I had to go around and do, like, the, the usual stuff, what you do with, like, the polling places and stuff. Anyways, I, I would basically have to say that as uh, now on here in California, I'm registered as a as Democrat on paper, you know. Because uh, originally I, I registered myself as a uh, independent. Uh, I think I, at that time when I was younger, I was just, didn't really feel like I was a Democrat or a Republican or anything of that sort. And, uh, I kind of always felt like maybe I was a little bit more of a Democrat, but I was also registered as a Democrat over in Texas. And I think it was like, uh, I think it was that each county had their own, their own, uh, ballot system. So therefore, like, Orange County would use this ballot system, and then LA County uses this ballot system that's completely different to that, as well as San Bernardino, Kern County, Riverside, San Diego, and 
Imperial County and so on and so on and so on. And I think it was like the same thing in um, Texas, you know, that, that uh, Dallas County would use this, Tarrant County would use that, Dick County would use this, so it was like Wise, Parker, Alice, Johnson, and all these other counties over in Texas. <sighs> Anyways, um, one of the weirdest, uh, stories I probably should mention on here, I think, was also about, about, uh, about MySpace, but I think, I don't know why I can't really get back into MySpace right now, it's, you know, I entered my password and all that stuff correctly, but for some reason, it just won't let me in. But, on the other hand, I've been meaning, I've been meaning to leave MySpace, because uh, I think I just got, got tired of all those little stuff like that on there, and not that everybody that I know is on MySpace, but it seems like most of all my old high school friends are also, I mean, they're all on MySpace, but they're all on Facebook as well. But, uh, but as well as, as well as some of my ex-friends over in Texas, and, and the actor that I always kind of mention a little bit, you know, but I, here's what I usually refer to as kind of an X in a way, you know, but as far as I can say is that I, I don't really want anything to do with that guy, you know, as far as, as long as I live, as far as that goes, you know, and, um, I think one of the whole weirdest stories on, uh, Facebook, I think it was, well, besides all my friends on there, you know, there was also people that, that I would possibly know on Facebook, but they wouldn't really have a MySpace page on there, or, or vice versa, there would be some people that I would know that wouldn't be on Facebook, but they wouldn't be on MySpace, or, or vice versa. A lot of my friends are, are usually in high school that some of them I would know since like, you know, like freshman year, sophomore year, and, and my junior year and senior year, but, and then of course I had also friends who had known long before high school and middle school, but anyways, I think I'm just going to start walking up right now. So, um, anyways, I think I'm just going to stop this right now because I don't know if this is, if I had gone past uh, the mark yet.